Hi, welcome to my listing at 2115 Hazard in Summit Place, which is in the River Oaks shopping area. This is a fantastic, one-of-a-kind, custom-designed home uh, that was built in 2003, energy efficient all the way around. It is close to everything you can imagine, shopping, restaurants, theater, and more. It is a great commute to downtown, the Galleria, or even the medical center. So let's take a look and see if it happens to be the right match for you. This home has wrought iron driveway gate leading to a two-car attached garage. It has a wrought iron fence in the front with lush foliage, making this a beautifully private retreat of a, of a front yard. Fountain in the corner. The two oak trees out front allow for nice shade of this front yard. And there's about two parking spaces right out front, making this a, a great property for guests when entertaining. From the pedestrian gate, you have a paved walkway to your front door. From the paved walkway to the front door, you'll notice that the house is hardy board all the way around. It has double paned windows. It is energy efficient with tech shield in the attic copper pipes, and the home actually was designed around a solarium, which makes it a very unique, one-of-a-kind home. From the front door, you walk into a foyer with travertine tile floors, a sweeping staircase to your left, and notice the solarium, which adds light throughout this entire house from all directions. Leaded glass front door welcomes guests into this nice entry. Notice the faux paint throughout much of this home, the lighting, and even the windows. The foyer opens itself up into a very large dining area with a bay window in the front with plantation shutters. Notice the custom designed paint paneling along the bottom and very well done, the double crown molding at the top of this room. Another view of the dining area. Notice the nice long wall that is ideal for a server. On the opposite wall, there was space for a china hutch as well. In the corner, there's a wet bar with a sink, granite countertop, wine rack, and notice the lighting above and below. Throughout much of the home, you will find sawn red oak plank floors throughout the dining area, living, and study. Truly a remarkable room. From the dining area, the double doors on the left lead to a washer and dryer launder area, and on the right is a walk-in lit closet. Step into the kitchen with a gorgeous island five burner cooktop with a retractable vent hood, a secondary prep sink, which is ideal when you have multiple hands in the kitchen. The kitchen has built-in stainless steel GE appliances throughout. The refrigerator stays with the property. To the left, you find a built-in microwave and then double convection ovens. Notice the cherry cabinetry with under cabinet lighting as well as above cabinet lighting as well. Notice the double crown molding at the top runs all along the dining, kitchen, and living spaces. Notice the corner small appliance garage is ideal for storing toaster, blender, or even a mixer. The cabinetry is all custom designed Notice the drawers, which are ideal for storing pots and pans. Stainless dishwasher is next to the very deep double stainless steel sinks. There's a nice long breakfast bar that opens up into the living area. And then notice the view of the solarium, which is in the center of the home, providing light to almost every room in the house. Kitchen's long breakfast bar has pendulum lighting, and it opens up into a large living space that could either be subdivided to a breakfast room, living room, or just a large living room combination. 
Notice all the windows along the sides and the back of the home, allowing for additional light into this home as well. The French doors lead to the backyard. And there is a corner gas log fireplace with wood mantle and marble tiled hearth. At one end of the living room, there is a built-in entertainment area, again with upper lighting. Notice the red oak plank floor, the double-paned low E windows and the transom windows above. And what makes this room unique is the tray ceiling with the faux painting and the cove lighting. The home also has a whole house audio system throughout as well. Another view of the solarium in the center of the home. Door leads into the downstairs study. The downstairs study has a wall of built-ins houses the whole house audio system right there with upper lighting, double crown molding, and again a tray ceiling with cove lighting. Study has a beautiful view of the backyard and covered patio. Study also has double doors leading to the solarium as well as a closet. The solarium allows you to see from one side of the house to the other. The doors on the left are to the living room and kitchen area. And then the doors to the right are to the study. I'm standing in the entry at this moment. And you'll notice that downstairs, not the master bedroom, but there is a guest bedroom and a full bath. Guest bedroom has walk-in closet. Guest bedroom also has a wall of windows looking into the solarium as well. These owners actually designed and built this home, and so they have the blueprints that will be passed along to the new owners at closing. Guest bathroom has a stone vessel sink, tiled backsplash, and a separate bathing area with a tub with tiled shower surround. Now let's head upstairs. At the top of the stairs, the first room you come to is a playroom area. It has a closet and also two attic spaces. The home is energy efficient as it has, again, double paned windows, tech shield radiant barrier, copper pipes, and two high efficiency AC units, train AC units, one zoned for upstairs and the other for down. Bookshelf on the right, three closets on the right as well, and a laundry chute in the middle that leads to the downstairs utility room. Looking across the, stair the catwalk, we have one guest bedroom on the right, and then the master suite on the left. The upstairs guest bedroom has a double door closet and plantation shutters kind of on this bay window overlooking the front yard. Lovely room. The upstairs guest bedroom also has its own bathroom with a pedestal sink, medicine cabinet, cabinet above the commode, beadboard paneling, and a tub with tiled shower walls as well. You have a spacious master suite at the end of the hall with full light French doors overlooking the solarium, a dual sided gas log fireplace, double doors that lead into the master bath, and across the room on the opposite wall you have a large walk-in closet. Above the master bed is the final and third tray ceiling with custom paint and cove lighting. Another view of the master suite with the camera recording security system and coffee bar and refrigerator. A secondary alarm pad. 
I like how they have the TV mounted nice and high in the corner. Don't even really realize it's there. And then the double full light French doors that lead out to a balcony that overlook the solarium. The master bedroom closet has windows overlooking the front yard with plantation shutters and is divided into a his and her side. They almost mirror one another with built-in dressers, double rods on each side, but if two rods high is not enough, you can certainly go up as there is space for adding a third rod up at the ceiling for extra storage. The master bath has double sink vanities and a makeup area in the middle. Each side mirrors one another with medicine cabinets on each side. There's a linen closet at the end and a large walk-in shower at the very end. There's an oval tub, two steps up to an oval tub, windows overlooking the solarium, and the other side of the double-sided fireplace from the master suite. Through the archway, leading into the master shower area, notice the glass block window, the travertine tiling from floor to ceiling, the bench, and you'll notice the shower is 6.6 .6 feet by 6 feet wide. Multiple shower heads, body sprayers, and mosaic tiling on the floor. It also has two archways and a skylight, allowing for natural light to always enter the space. View of the master bedroom balcony overlooking the solarium. This home actually has a backyard space for children or the family dog to run and play. Notice the flagstone along the back. The home is nicely landscaped in the front and backyards. It does have a full sprinkler system in front and back as well. French drainage system, so no water flecks anywhere around the property. And right outside the study is a covered patio with a slate tile floor, which makes it a great place to relax in the afternoons after a long day. Well, thanks for joining me on this quick tour of 2115 Hazard in the River Oak shopping area. If you or someone you know would like to take a look at this one-of-a-kind, remarkable home in person, please don't hesitate to give me a call as I would love to show it to you. Thanks and have a great day.